Hello everybody and welcome back to a new tutorial video on how to use concept work. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate to you how you can use concept board as your online flip chart or your online pin board. For the purpose of this video, I will use the example of the business model canvas, how you can develop a business model canvas together with a peer using concept board. For those of you who are not familiar with the business model canvas concept, the business model canvas is a template in which you can outline the main things about your new business. It's a tool uh, most common used by entrepreneurs. So let's get started. First of all, you need to create a new board. That's really simple. After you create the account and you are on the dashboard, please click create a new board here. Immediately after the board is created, I suggest you rename it. So click on the gears and instead of a new board, just write the uh, name of, uh, of your board name that you like. I just wrote business model canvas. Press save and press anywhere then to, cl uh, to close the menu. So after I've renamed the board, I would like now to add the template. Uh, click upload and click uh, on your computer, drag on the board in this area the file that you want to upload and release. Uh, with concept board you can upload any type of documents, uh, docs, PNGs, uh, JPEGs, PDFs, PowerPoint presentations. Now I've just uploaded a PNG file. So this is the template of the business model canvas. You can use any type of template and you can use concept board for basically anything. It's just limited by your imagination. So let's get started. Uh, let me just collapse the left hand side menu so I see more of the canvas. Let's get started. First of all I would start numbering the uh, fields of the canvas. So in order to do that I'll just select the scribble tool, I'll just select the marker, change the color from orange to let's say black and I will start uh, numbering the fields in the order I would like them to fill them in. Okay, so now that we are done uh, numbering the fields with the Scribble tool, let's start adding uh, relevant content to the canvas. Let's first zoom in to the, to the template. First things first, we need to give the name, uh, we need to name the canvas. So that's really simple. Go to Write, Headline, just say Business Model for, let's say, a e-shop that sells t-shirts. After you are done, position this wherever you want on the canvas and you're good to go. Let's now start added, adding some new content. For example, let's focus on the key partners now. So, in order to better understand what we need to input here, I'm just going to highlight the requirements. That's really simple. Scribble, highlight, and start using the highlighter as you'd normally do on a piece of paper. After we have done that, let's just start adding content. And in the real world, with the normal canvas, we will probably add some post-its. With concept board, we can do the exact same thing. It's really simple. Going to write, text block, press wherever on the canvas where you want to add the text, and you're good to go. So our first partner for this business, let's say, will be the internet provider. As I told you, this is a um, 
online flip chart or online pin board. So let's just make this text block look more like a normal post-it. Press here, select the color. Let's just say we want to have it green and also change the font style to handwriting so it looks even better. After you're done, you can then position the uh, post-it wherever you want on the canvas, as I'm doing now. Okay, so after you're done filling in the template, the business model canvas, most likely you will want to share this with a peer and I definitely suggest that because it's, it's a good way to get feedback on your business idea. With concept board it's really easy, you don't have to send thousands of emails with your ideas or attach I don't know how many documents to make your point, it's really simple. After you're done uh, inputting your data in concept board, go to share, invite a participant, put here the email address of the participant, type in an introduction text if you want, and press send invitation. You can either do it like this or another easier way would be to copy paste the link to an email or uh, to put it into an instant messaging software or share it on Facebook on Twitter. But bear in mind that if somebody has access to this link they can access your board and probably you don't want to share this information with everybody on, on Twitter let's say. So I'm just going to go ahead and send this invitation. Now my colleague will receive an email saying that I invited her to join this board. So very simple, by clicking the link in the board, she will be here on the board working together with me. Thank you very much and this is the video of how to use concept board as your online pin board or online flip chart. Thanks.